Hey everyone, good morning, John here. Uh, I'm taking you from the scenic route of my car since I have to run errands just like all the rest of you do. So I thought I would give you today's video update on the road on Thursday, uh, October 20th, 2023. There's a myriad of random things going on, so I'm just going to kind of give it to you in no particular order. Uh, Jim Jordan will not be running for a third uh, attempt at Speaker of the House. He's going to give the nod to Patrick McHenry in the interim. I still think President Trump is going to be involved in that in some way. China is precipitous, precipitously selling off their bonds, uh, the U.S. bonds specifically. So they're dumping it just like uh, Japan and Taiwan, a whole host of other countries are doing the exact same thing because they're de-dollarizing. Uh, thanks to Nick Benyamin for the show yesterday. <clears throat> I had a good time, as I always do with him. I pray that it blessed a lot of you with information that you needed. I also want to give a special acknowledgement to Colin, who uh, uh, posts a lot on this channel with good wishes. Yes, Colin, we are going to see Nassar Jassar. We're already seeing it. The IMF is already meeting with a lot of countries to implement debt forgiveness. So that's already an active thing that's happening right now, and it's been in place for a while. So we will see Nassar Jassar. It will continue to roll out through the remainder of this year. And there was a person who asked about the Zim bonds. If you don't have the receipts, as long as it's authentic and you've uh, verified it ahead of time before you go in the bank, you're fine. If you have an e-receipt, that's also going to work. So you guys don't need to worry about all those things and be concerned with the minutia. Just make sure that you've prepared your mindset and done the detailed homework and do your diligence. You'll be just fine. And I will help you every step of the way that I can through this process. Uh, what else can I tell you? There's there's just a lot going on. It's going to continue. I would be watching for November 1st. I still think President Trump can be a surprise sneak for Speaker of the House. Uh, we're also looking for the inevitable step down of the Biden. Um, I think they're going to step him down due to an undisclosed medical illness, although we know the real story behind that. But I'd be watching for that towards the end of this month, first week of November. <clears throat> hint, hint. And also watch November 1st for those of you who live in the States. Uh, there's going to be a surprise interest rate hike. We believe it'll be uh, one basis point, which is really going to send the stock market and the commercial and the housing markets catapulting. So there's, there's going to be a lot of stuff that happens in this last quarter uh, as we come up on the holy days. Pray that blesses you. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. God bless, and I'll see you soon.